Hi, fifth graders. So today we are going to be looking at the properties of multiplication. Now, if you remember, we have done properties of addition and the properties of multiplication are pretty much the same. So let's start with our example. So the coach had 16 players in each of the two groups. Each player scored five goals. Find the total number of goals scored. So that means that we're asking it's asking you to find the quantity 16 times 2 times 5. All right, so it's asking us to find this number first times 5. Since we can kind of easily multiply 2 times 5, we can change the way that these numbers are grouped using the associative property of multiplication. It's almost exactly the same as the associative property of addition, it's just for using multiplication this time. So all that means is that the way that the factors or the numbers are grouped doesn't change the product. So we're going to change this from the quantity 16 times two times five to 16 times the quantity two times five. Because two times five we know easily is 10 and 16 times 10 is a little bit easier for us to multiply, 160. So the total number of goals scored on this soccer team is 160. So our second example, we are going to, it's asking us to find the unknown number in this equation. 35 and 5 tenths times something, this is our something, equals 17 times 35 and 5 tenths. So we can use the commutative property of multiplication to find this. It's exactly the same as the commutative property of addition. We're just using multiplication this time. So that means that the order that the factors are multiplied in does not change the product. So if we look at this problem, 35 and 5 tenths is the same on both sides. And we know that they're equal. So we know that whatever this side is has to multiply to the same as this side. So that means that 17 is going to be the same on the other side. So our unknown number is going to be 17. And our third example, find the unknown this is our unknown, in the equation 17 times something equals 17. The identity property of multiplication, it's the same as the identity property or very similar to the identity property of addition, states that the product of any factor and one, so anything times one equals the factor. Remember with addition, it's anything plus zero. But in multiplication, anything times one equals that number. So in order for these two numbers, 17 and 17, to be the same, this number, our unknown, has to be 1. So for our guided practice, we have three different equations, and we need to decide which property is being used in each equation. So we have 6 and 2 tenths times 100 equals 100 times 6 and 2 tenths. We have 8 times 2 times 3 equals 8 times 2 times 3. And 78 and 56 hundredths times 1 equals 78 and 56 hundredths. So I can look at these right away, and I see that this one, number 3, has something times 1, which tells me that it has to be identity. So one of the ways that I remember identity is, first of all, it identity self. So it makes it into itself. But also I kind of looks like a one. So that helps me too. Next, I can look at number two and I see grouping symbols. When I see grouping symbols, I think association or associative, which tells me this has to be the associative property. Remember, associative property generally is going to use grouping symbols like parentheses and brackets. So that means commutative property 
has to match for number one. So you have a couple of pages of practice in your book and you have a couple of pages on Canvas to work on as well. If you have any questions or need any help, please let me know. After you complete this, you have a, we're going to skip the estimating quotients because you know me in estimating, but you have a check my progress. So once you complete all of these, then you are done for the week. You also have a quick check that I want you to make sure that you've done so that I can see how you're doing and if you need any help with anything. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'm here to help you guys. Have a great day, fifth graders.